name's Tracy and I'm with SweetBayLane.com and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's project consists of three things that most people love, vintage, candy, and bunnies, in an adorable wooden sign perfect for the upcoming Easter holiday. The supply list for today's project will consist of a piece of wood measuring 5.5 inches tall by 18 inches wide that has been cut, sanded, and prepped, an old rag, a pair of disposable gloves, you'll need a wood stain, and I've chosen a gel stain and a dark walnut. It's non-toxic, I love that. You'll need an applicator for the stain. You'll need two colors of paint. I've chosen a light pink and a bright white. You'll need two stencil pouncers, and you'll need a stencil squeegee. And last but not least, you'll need your stencil. And this project is celebrating the upcoming Easter holiday, so I've chosen Cottontail's Candy Company. Now, if you can't or don't feel like sourcing and prepping all these materials for this project, the kit can be found over at SweetBayLane.com. And the bonus is you'll have this video to follow along with when you receive your kit. So let's get started. Your first step will be staining the board. And you want to make sure you have your gloves on just to make sure that you don't get the stain on your hands. to apply the stain directly onto the rag. Sometimes I will use the applicator brush, but in this instance I'm finding it easier just to go ahead and apply it with the rag. Then you'll let that dry, and then you're ready for your second coat of gel stain. And now that our two coats of stain have dried completely, we're going to apply our stencil, which is this adorable little Cottontail Candy Company. And to do this, we are going to peel the back off of our stencil Sometimes the little pieces of the stencil will want to stick to the transfer tape, but that's okay. You can just rub over them and they'll re-adhere to the transfer tape. And once you have your stencil on there, you will take your squeegee
and you'll just rub over that stencil. You can even use your hands just to make sure you get the stencil stuck to the project. And the next step on the stencil will be to remove the transfer tape. And you'll just peel up the edge, which you'll see there. The transfer tape is the grid pattern on top of the stencil. And you'll just slowly peel it back. <clears throat> and it's best if you keep the stencil, the transfer tape as low as possible when you're tearing it up. Sometimes the little pieces will come up with the transfer tape, but that's okay because all you have to do is just take your squeegee or an old credit card or your stencil squeegee and just rub the edges down. Once you get your transfer tape off, you'll be left with your stencil. And you'll just kind of want to just press down the edges just to ensure you won't have any paint bleed. And then you're going to have this. And our next step will be applying the paint. And that's where your little sponge paint daubers will come in. So for this project, I think I'm going to paint the Cottontail Candy Company pink and I'm going to paint my little bunnies a crisp white. And you'll just want to tap lightly, use a light hand, and just tap the paint into that design. We have let our design dry completely. As you'll see, here it is with the stencil before we remove it. And now we will just start to gently peel the stencil away from the board. And you'll want to kind of do this in a slow motion. Just so you don't take up any of the design or the stain. Look at the little bunny being revealed. How cute is that?
And there we go. This is our finished product. How sweet is that? Well, that wraps it up for today's project, and thanks for hanging out with me. This project and many others can be found on SweetBayLane.com. If you found this video helpful and entertaining, please share with a friend and also hit the subscribe button for future notifications of DIY projects.